Good dear students, I am Ajay Karmarkar. Before starting this video, I would like to say something. Please sit with copy pen. If you find somewhere important, then note it and proceed further. And although you have facing any problem or difficulties, please write in comment box. I will definitely solve your problem. And along with, please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you. Now here is the question. A long horizontal plank of mass Small m is lying on a smooth horizontal surface. A sphere of same mass, small m and radius small r, is spinned about its own axis with angular velocity omega. And gently placed on the plank, the coefficient of friction between the plank and the sphere is mu. After some time, the pure rolling of the sphere on the plank will start. Find the displacement of the plank till the sphere starts pure rolling. Here we have given four options. They are first option omega naught square r square upon 81 mu g. Option B 2 omega square r square upon 27 mu g. Option C 4 omega naught square r square upon 81 mu g. And option D 2 omega naught square r square upon 81 mu g. Now let's see what the question says here. Initial velocity of this sphere is zero, but when it is spinned. It is spinned and kept on this plank. Then friction force is applied. Then friction force is applied that is spinned means angular velocity in this direction that is uh, given that omega naught. And here angular velocity in this direction but their translatory motion in forward direction means right side that is V2. And between the contact of this plank that is friction force is applied. Here friction force is equal to mu into n. Here fr mu that is friction coefficient that is given in the question and n that is mass is at downward direction so mg and normal force that is become mg. Okay so here the normal force. Here mass into acceleration of this a2 mu mg here m m cancel out then a2 become mu g okay now same things we are talking about the plank but its a direction of velocity is opposite direction so it is considered v1 and friction force is also applied in this direction so here friction force between the plank and that sphere that is mu and its mass is also mg but it is an opposite direction. So m into a here a can be written as plank ap. Okay. That is equal to mu mg and m m cancel out. And here we can see that mu here mu g is same things, but its direction is opposite. So relative, we can talking about the relative acceleration, consider a dash, but its direction is opposite to the direction of this sphere. So it can be written as AP relative AP equal to A2 minus A1 and A2 is mu g and its direction relatively sphere that is negative. So minus mu g that is A dash equal to 2 mu g. Okay. So we have considered that is the first equation. Now from first equation of kinematics what is the first equation of kinematics that is v equal to u plus a t here initial velocity of this sphere that is zero and acceleration we already find out that relative acceleration that is 2 mu g and is t so here v equal to 2 mu g okay now now here torque acting on sphere due to friction. So here when it is rotated then friction is applied. So therefore tau equal to friction force and distance from this force that is uh, r perpendicular distance. So what is tau? Tau relation we know that tau equal to i into alpha. What is i? i is moment of inertia, alpha is angular acceleration. Here fr is mu mg and is r. So alpha equal to mu mg r upon i. 
what is the i moment of inertia of the sphere that is 2 by 5 m r square here m m cancel out here 1 r is cancel 1 r is remaining so alpha equal to 5 mu g upon 2 r that is third equation now from first equation of motion or rotational motion that is omega equal to omega naught plus alpha into t okay now multiply by r the first question is arises in our mind why we have multiplied by r you know that for pure rolling because it is given in the question for pure rolling for pure rolling v equal to omega r it is the condition whenever we have to using the translatory motion or when it is translate rotational to the linear motion that v equal to omega r is used so therefore we have multiplied by r and that time whenever we have using the velocity or linear motion that is direction of alpha and its velocity its direction is exactly opposite because when any rotatory object which is moving it's a rotation in opposite direction but it is displaced in forward direction so therefore velocity and alpha that is in opposite direction so here we have using negative sign omega not r minus alpha p r okay and now substitute the value of v we have already find out 2 mu gt omega not r minus alpha we have already find out minus 5 mu g upon 2 r into t into r here 1 r cancel out and now transposing this term to the left side become positive plus 5 mu g upon 2 that is t equal to omega naught r now taking the lcm 2 2 to the 4 4 plus 5 that is 9 mu g t equal to omega naught r here we have find out the time t so t equal to 2 omega naught r upon 9 mu g so here we get the time t now we have to ask that distance moved by this plane by using equation of motion second equation of motion s equal to ut plus half at square here initial velocity is 0 and s we have to find out 1 by 2 acceleration of this only plane that is mu g and time t we have already find out so substitute this value 2 omega naught r upon 9 mu g whole square so s equal to 1 by 2 mu g into 4 omega naught square r square upon 81 mu square g square so 2 ones are 2 2 to the 4 1 mu cancel out 1 g cancel out then s equal to 2 omega naught square r square upon 81 mu g let's see which options is matching here 2 omega naught square r square 81 mu g option d here option d is matching here 2 omega naught square r square 81 mu g okay i hope so you understood this question thank you for staying till the end of this video definitely for your success all the credit goes to your hard work but if my video will help for your success then i will consider myself lucky thank you once again take care bye bye